let's talk voting ages. This is a bit of a hot button topic as of late. So there's a fair bit of people talking about it. But the way I want to talk about it specifically is with people under the age of 18 voting and people over the age of 80 voting. My personal stance is 16 to 18, they should be able to vote. And people over the age of 80 really shouldn't be able to. Now, a big part of my reason for this is just the chances of a 16-year-old, 17-year-old being well-informed is way higher than an 80-plus-year-old being informed. The brain functioning of someone who's 16, 17 is usually pretty darn good. It's at the proper level it should be for their ages. It's near adult, pretty much. Whereas someone in 80-plus, their mind has degraded a lot, and it's continuing to degrade. They're not as capable of complete adult-level intellect. So, yeah, I say most 17-year-olds are more intelligent and have better brain function, brain power, than someone who's 90 years old. For sure. And then there's also the simple fact that a 16-year-old, a 17-year-old, they're going to be more affected in their lifetime by whatever they're voting on than it's someone over the age of 80. Chances are a lot of people over the age of 80 might not be affected at all. Whereas you've got 16 and 17 year olds, they're still in the school system, which is part of voting pretty much. They're going to be in the workforce either immediately or soon. So they're definitely gonna be affected. They might have already moved out, might be looking to move out soon and so on. And they're going to be part of society for like 60 plus more years. Where you have someone who's like 85, chances are they're retired. They're not going to school anymore. They're not going to be around a lot longer. So society isn't really going to affect them much. Maybe the most they might get affected is like taxes. <laughs> Maybe their retirement might get dinged. But chances are they're not going to have a chance to really be affected by any policy changes or government changes or anything that's voted on. Whereas these young 16, 17 year olds, they are going to be. There's no way in hell they're not going to be. So absolutely, they should be able to vote. 16, 17 year olds should absolutely be allowed to vote. Because, and really, to claim otherwise is just kind of you're being silly, you're being sarcastic, or you're just stupid. <laughs> to try and claim otherwise to this, because part of it is just blaringly obvious common sense. Because... <laughs> To say that, and especially, like, I know some people will say, well, minors aren't really part of society yet. They're not in the real world. Which is just a load of horse shit. People are in the real world from the time they turn six. Maybe once they hit grade one, I'd say, maybe. That's pretty much when someone's in the real world. Especially when you consider politics has a huge, huge fucking ex effect on the school system and the education system. Not just on when they're in high school, but also when they go off to college or university. The government has a massive fucking effect on that, on everything from what's taught, how it's taught, what the costs are, how you get there, transportation, everything is massively affected by the government. And this is blaringly obvious in America. I mean, you have teachers having to buy the school pencils because the school can't afford it because they're not getting enough money from the government, which is a problem in America. Like, America, yeah, your schools are royally fucked. <laughs> And this is a horrible and bad for minors, so of course minors are going to want to vote on it. And it makes sense that they should be able to. Then you have the other problem with gun control, which is kind of the part of the thing that's really hot button, is you have all these minors who are walking out and everything. Which is reasonable, I mean, the number one places you're hearing about getting shut up right now is mostly the school shootings. And... What are you doing? And who is in the schools, the 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, and younger. So it affects them absolutely, gun control. Sure, they might not legally technically be allowed to use guns yet, at least here in Canada, I don't know about America, it might be a little different, I don't know. <laughs> but it affects them. Even stuff like dress code laws, that affects them. Anything to do with minimum wage, that affects them. Even, like, how much it gets raised, if it's lowered, what kind of jobs are available, what sort of experience you need to get into a minimum wage job or entry-level jobs. Even stuff like the having to do the entrepreneurship things for free. Like, that's fucking horrible for minors. Like, sure, most of them aren't in it yet, but they're going to be in it soon. They should be able to vote on these things. Especially because in America, it's like two or four year term, I think it is. Whereas in Canada, it can pretty much, you can just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going, I'm pretty sure. So, 
17 year old, what they're voting on, they will, no matter what, be affected by. Especially if they're 17, then they're still going to be an adult. Well, they're going to become an adult while that person has still been voted in, or those policies had still been voted on. <laughs> Cats being a nut box. And the claim otherwise is just stupid. And then with people who are over 80, there's no chance for them to be affected by most of anyone's policies beyond things like retirement funds. Because most of them are going to be retired, except for the ones that kind of fucked up in life or got really screwed over by life and are still in the workforce. Those people are an extreme minority with people over the age of 80, though. That's why I say over the age of 80, not over the age of 60. Because right now there are a lot of people over the age of 60 who have to go back into the workforce, especially in America. But over the age of 80, they're probably retired or in a home. <laughs> and sure, those things can be affected by politics a little bit, but not nearly to the degree that schools, universities, minimum wage, and just society in general for younger people will be affected. And then, of course, people use the simple phrase, well, they're kids, they're stupid, they're only informed on, on what they're being shown on social media because they're a dumb millennial or Gen Z-er. And that's just, frankly, you being biased <laughs> and you being like, ho and toe, adults are better than youngins because ho and toe, I'm an adult. There are a lot of adults that are that way and it's fucking stupid. I know many people who are under the age of 18 who are way fucking smarter than half the adults I know. So to claim that someone shouldn't be able to vote just because they're a minor, really, you've got no leg to stand on. Because you sit in there going, but they haven't experienced the real world. Yes, they have. But they're stupider than adults. No, they're not. But they're not affected by the societal changes and the laws and everything. No, they're not. There's really no argument against someone the age 16, 17 to be able to vote. There's no real argument against it. If you want to post an argument against it, Feel free, at least one that I haven't already addressed and pointed out that it's stupid. Feel free to. I imagine I'm not going to see much, if any. <laughs> but anyway. And plus, it, honestly, it seems like way more people between the ages of 16 to 18 are going to vote than people over 80. Like, look at just how many in America alone want to fucking vote. Most people up in their 80s, a lot of them just don't vote. Some of them because they completely forget about it because their brains don't work as well as they used to. Others just because they realize there's not any point for them to vote much. And part of the problem I also have with older people being able to vote but not younger people being able to vote, it goes back to the whole the older folks don't really have to live with it in the long term. If this vote fucks things up for 50 years to come, that 80-year-old is probably not going to be around for those 50 years. But that young 17-year-old is definitely going to be, well, okay, not definitely, most likely they're going to be. So it's unfucking fair to say, oh, you, you're going to be, like, in society for another 70 years. Yeah, you don't get a say on how society's going to be, but you, who's only going to be here for another 15 years, you get to dictate what happens. Okay? That's just silly and stupid. And, of course, this is part of what leads to a lot of younger people feeling disenfranchised, like they have no say, no power, can't fix anything, like it's not worth going through and looking forward to and living anymore because they don't have a say. They can't have this effect on their future. And a lot of people like to say that, little, that younger folks, teenagers, need to look for their future, plan for their future, figure out what they don't do in the future. Voting is part of that. Voting is a massive part of that. If one of their things is that they really want to see society get better, best way to do that currently is voting and activism, which they need to be able to do when they're 17, frankly. No, I'm not saying that they every place needs to make it so minors can vote. I just think every place should. <laughs> I don't work in law, so I can't really change this, but, you know, my 22 cents, I guess. Well, nine minutes of cents. <laughs> so... Minors should be able to vote, 16 to 18, and people over the age of 80 really shouldn't. Because <laughs> at this point, they're not affected by anything anymore, and they're just screwing shit up for young people. Now I remember the other part that I wanted to say. The likelihood of someone over the age of 80 being a bigoted, incorrectly informed, 
and bias is a way, way, way higher than a minor. Because flat out, anyone who says that the really older people are really good at telling what's real and what's fake, how to figure stuff out on the internet, no, they don't. <laughs> Even people in their 50s usually have a much harder time than people who are young. Younger people are almost always more informed, and chances are they're less bigoted, they're less biased. <laughs> because a lot of them have friends who are of these groups, or they're just simply better fucking informed on these groups and the things they face and shit. Whereas older folks, well, they just came from older times, and those older times often were way more racist, sexist, transphobic, homophobic, and all that other stuff. So they're more likely to fall in line with those things. And yeah, like, honestly, I think I know of two people who were under the age of 30 who were bigoted, racist, stuff like that, but, like, over the age of 50, most of the people I know who are over the age of 50 are bigoted. Except for a select few. Sure, most of them are family, but still. The chances of an older person being a bigoted idiot and a moron is way higher than a little young 17-year-old. And, frankly, I would rather have people who aren't raging bigots and racists voting than people who are just going to vote to make sure that black people can't do this, or votes that... Same-sex marriage can't be legal because they're a homophobe. So. Yeah.